G'day, John Canny here again. Uh, this is just a quick video on how I mounted the UHF radio, or CB radio, some call it, uh, to my Ineos Grenadier without drilling any holes in anything. First couple of things to note, this is a right-hand drive vehicle, so if it's got a left-hand drive vehicle, it's uh, the other way around. And of course, on my car, I've got a bull bar or a roo bar, so I'm mounting it on that. So the antenna will be in the front of the vehicle, not on the roof. If you don't have a wall bar, well I guess there are other brackets and things if you want to mount it up the front. Okay, so let's have a look. First things first, I needed to uh, get a bracket as there's nothing to mount onto this bull bar without buying a bracket. Secondly, I want to get my wires nice and neat so I've got it running through here into the engine bay. But it actually runs down next to the light because you can't get through there so it's necessary to remove the scutcheon around the light this piece here okay that comes off fairly easy it allows you to take the wire down there's a hole in the bottom you come up through that and then wire will come up i think you can see the wire uh, through there just see it through there as it runs up runs along the back here and then along there to the firewall. Now I have found fortunately a spot here where I can get through down there you'll see it there I've taken the grommet out of that the grommet goes in this side but that goes straight in under the dash there so you can just pop that out you've got to slip your hand down here grab it without dropping it and pull that grommet out so here is the grommet that's the one Okay, so what I'm going to do, it's probably going to be difficult for me to push it back in that way. I'm actually going to insert it, insert it from the inside because I can get to the inside. So I'm going to take my cable from my antenna, run it neatly around under here and through. And then on the inside, we can have a look up here under the dash on the passenger side. And that's where that grommet comes through there. So it is perfect to bring the antenna wire in. You can see there where the antenna cable comes through there I've pushed the grommet back on to that hole and then I've run the wire across so I've mounted the actual radio unit itself up here behind the glove box uh, I've just used double-sided tape good quality 3m double-sided tape so it will stay there and I've run the cable from that antenna cable from that point in the where it comes through the grommet across and connected it here to this unit so the unit is tucked under here and I've then connected the microphone cable to that unit which runs across and behind this panel here. So don't be worried about taking that panel off, it unclips very easily like so. So just take that off and you can see the cable to the microphone running there, goes across to the other side. Okay, so we can just pop that one back on. Um, I've also run power from the unit here across to the uh, footwell power outlets in here. I'll talk about that in a separate video and how I did that. Okay, so here's where it comes out. I've pulled that one off, connected it behind there and brought it up there at the moment. Now you can move it anywhere you like. There's plenty of cable to run around there. I've got my microphone sitting here only because I don't know where else to put it at the moment. Uh, it's on with double-sided tape. So uh, if anyone's got any good ideas to where that might go, I'd be happy to hear them in the comments. Okay, so that's how easy it is to get it in. I hope that's helpful. If you can subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, I'll continue these little tips as I find them because I'm learning something every day. Okay.